G'day there viewers and welcome to Bookkeeping 1. We're going to be looking at the accounting system today um, and uh, this is chapter 1 of the Osborne books. So, objectives for today is to look at the stages of accounting, transfer of documents to the books of PE stands for primary, looking at debits and credits, transfer of uh, from books of primary to the ledger accounts, uh, looking at control accounts and trial balance. So, the five stages of accounting. So, first of all, you have a transaction such as a sale, payment of wages, purchases. We're just going to look at sales for now. But sales, uh, so you have a sale and then you have a sales invoice. And then um, the sales invoice will be recorded in the sales daybook. The sales daybook um, will then um, go to something called a subsidiary sales ledger, uh, which is uh, the ledger accounts. And then uh, uh, all of the uh, individual accounts will be transferred to something called a trial balance, um, which we'll, we'll see today as well. So let's carry on. So here we've got our sales invoice. It's for Danny Turner. Uh, sorry, I've crossed it out rather than highlighted it. So it's for Danny Turner. And then we've got Danny Turner here. And then um, let's have a look. The sales invoice number is here. So we uh, transferred that here. And then uh, the, the total is here, and then we transferred that there, and then the date is there, and we transferred it there. And then we've got the net and um, VAT values, and then we've transferred these. Okay, I'll let you do that yourselves. You can do um, find another invoice and uh, do it yourself. Uh, it's what you typically do at work when you try uh, start off as an accountant. So let's carry on. What is a debit or credit? So debit or credit, in the olden days we used to have these things called um, ledgers which were basically books and um, on each side of the book would be uh, entries would be made depending on whether the thing that you're recording was an asset or a liability um, or an expense or an income or a, or a capital item. So anyway, let's carry on. Um, so say if you made a sale of £50, it will go on the credit side of a sale. Uh, of the sales account and um, so here this is a book um, and we're recording on the left hand side because um, it's a sale which is an income and it goes on the credit side we'll go through why that is um, in a little while but um, just know that um, it's going to be recorded on the sales side because it's a uh, credit side because it's an income now the opposite entry will be an asset because it's money money is an asset so that's going to go on the right hand side of the bank account Okay. Right, so how do you know whether to record on the right hand side or the left hand side or the debit side or the credit side? So um, you can use this acronym called Dead Click. It's dead easy. So Dead Click is, um, represents uh, assets are debits, uh, expenses are debits, drawings are debits, uh, and the credit side liabilities are credits, income is um, a credit and capital is a credit. Uh, another way you can remember it, which I prefer, um, is the extended accounting equation. Now the accounting equation equals is assets um, equals liabilities uh, sorry, assets minus liabilities equals capital. So I, I couldn't remember it there for a second. So assets um, minus liabilities equals capital. Um, also, uh, capital plus liabilities equals assets. That's another way of um, of thinking about it as well. If you rearrange assets minus liabilities equals capital, then you get assets plus liability. Uh, capital plus liabilities equals uh, assets. So anyway, let's carry on. Um, so if you think about it, that makes sense because all your assets had to be purchased by either capital, which is the owner's um, money basically capital is either owners or shareholders money uh, liabilities liabilities are what you borrow from the bank so your assets had to be purchased either using money from yourself or from the bank so that makes sense now um, the extended accounting equation also has these two items cap uh, expenses and um, income so um, the income will go on the same side as the capital and liabilities 
and the assets will be uh, going on the same side as assets and drawings. Capit so capital and liabilities plus um, income and then assets plus expenses uh, plus drawings. So day books to ledger accounts. So uh, we've got the sales day book that we call sales which is an income so that would be um, a credit because it's an income and then we've got the sales returns day book which is um, the opposite of a sale so that will be negative income which will be on the debit side because it's the opposite of an income so uh, remember income is a um, income is a credit so it would be the opposite of that and then we've got purchases which is a debit um, and then purchase returns will be a negative expense so that will be a credit because it's the opposite now cash book cash book represents um, the money that's coming in and out of the bank and in your in your own accounts it should be called cash book but often um, a lot of um, uh, these new softwares have it as bank account which is quite handy as well actually because it, it does represent money that's in the bank account obviously and then you've got um, a cash book which is um, very similar to to uh, um, sorry a petty cash book which is uh, very similar to the normal cash book and um, but it just rep uh, represents normal cash so cash uh, cash in hand basically that's in your hand so um, payments received um, is an asset so because it's an asset it will be debit Payments made, obviously you're taking away assets, money's coming out of the business, so that will be a negative asset, which is a credit. So the uh, same entries are for the cash book, so uh, whatever money that you've got and you're paying out will be debits and credits. If you're losing money, then you're losing an asset, so that will be um, obviously a credit. So uh, ledger accounts. So ledger accounts are the main accounts of the business. There's a, a debit and a credit for every transaction. They're the same value and will be equal and opposite. So sales ledger records all the sales on the credit side. Each customer also has its own account in the sales ledger. Purchase ledger records all the purchases um, and that, that are made on credit. Um, so each supplier has their own account in the in, in the purchase ledger. So it's important uh, to notice the word credit here. This is not the same as a debit and credit side, so don't get confused with that. Credit means here where um, they haven't paid for the goods up front. So um, sales, so a customer has made a purchase and they haven't paid up front. Uh, so you've got something from your supplier in the purchase ledger and you haven't paid the money up front. So that's also called a credit. So it's important not to um, confuse the words here. Um, but yeah, so credit and um, credit here means um, uh, money that's not paid up front. So uh, the main ledger or the general ledger or the nominal ledger, whichever one that you want to call it, um, let's just think of as many names as possible uh, and use them. Nah, just kidding. Obviously, uh, these are the only three names that you will normally see um, and they um, You'll see them in um, different software. We use different names for them, um, and different um, companies will use different names for them. But um, yeah, these are the three uh, most common names, and they're the ones that you'll see throughout your studies. So uh, they contain all the individual ledgers of the trial balance. So they all come up to uh, the main ledger, basically. Um, control accounts. So control accounts are totals accounts. So you'll see in the main account a total for all the sales ledgers, so all your debtors, all the uh, ones that owe money to you, will be a control account in the main ledger. Purchase ledger, control accounts, so you'll have all the um, individual accounts in the, um, of your creditors, of your suppliers in, in the main account. These totals are obviously in the main ledger. So for example here, so we've got the sales ledger um, con uh, accounts. So this is the sales ledger account. So the total figure will go into the assets um, in your uh, main ledger. Um, your purchase ledger accounts, they will all be transferred to the um, general ledger in, in, as liabilities. And then you'll have capital items as well that get transferred into the main accounts. 
So again, we've got this um, just a reminder here before we do the trial balance. Assets, expenses, liabilities and drawings um, are debits, uh, liabilities, income and capital are credits.